In this video, I'm gonna teach you something that you might not have known out of the 335 wide and something that you can do um, against two by two spread formations that is going to allow you to have a pretty cool little defense that is very adaptable to the situation. And I'm actually really, really excited to share this with you. So if you're new to the channel, I do wanna ask that you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. I also wanna let you know that I just released a one hour and 15 minute update to our Nickel 335 wide defense in my Patreon membership today. If you wanna learn all of that stuff, it's really the new way that I've been playing defense. It's not your traditional 335 wide by any means. There are some very in-depth and very specific adjustments that you can do out of it that make it really, 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 really good. So if you want to learn that, um, the cool part about the Patreon is you don't only get that one thing, you actually get everything. So you get all 18 eBooks, the whole 335 wide guide before this ma major update and everything after the major update. So the beauty of it, it's all there for you. And the cool part is as long as you're a member, any new updates, anything new that comes out, you're gonna get immediate access to that material as well. Now today I wanted to talk about a concept against two by two formations. Now this does include motioned over trips tight in or motioned over gun bunch. When they motion a slot over, that turns it into a two by two formation, okay? Um, but when the offense is in a two by two set, I've talked about this a little bit before, but cover three match is a really good defense. Now uh, I'm just gonna come out in a basic spread uh, formation here and we're gonna walk you through a couple things with this. So. Um, let me just come out in the play double seams and um, we want the Mike Blitz 3 as our audible. Another one that you could put in here is the cover 3 buzz. Um, the cover 3 buzz is a decent one as well, but we're going to focus on the Mike Blitz 3. Now, this is one of the most popular defenses, but most people don't realize that this defense actually has matching principles built within it um, that are really, really good against 2 by 2 sets. Okay? So we're gonna audible to Mike Blitz three, and what I want you to do is I'm actually gonna just put, um, I'm gonna shade up, and I just want you to watch what's gonna happen. So if I'm running zone drops, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna see I can throw in the seam, and it's just, it's painful, right? I can throw in the seam all day long. Now, if I want to, if I leave these seam flats, uh, however, what you should see is on the seams, they're actually gonna follow them upfield and play the vertical seams. Now, not only are they going to guard those routes, but they're also going to guard things like a corner route. So if I run something like this, watch the seam flat take it and, and match it really well to the sideline. So the beauty of this is you have these slots that if the slot routes go um, let's say that the slot receiver goes, let's say he goes on a drag, okay? So, so let's say they do something like this. They go like this concept right here. This is a very possible um, or very probable thing that people could run this. What you'll notice is, is this matches really, really well, okay? Now, let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the coverage. So what we get is we get these matching seam flats. Now the one thing that I will say is that's unfortunate is the thirds don't match as well as I'd like them to out of this formation. But you do see here the corner out gets matched by that seam flat. The three rec will carry this guy over the middle of the field. And then you've got this backside guy over here. Now, what we can do with this is we can actually turn this into a cover three match. Um, let me show you something real quick out of cover three buzz. Take a look at cover three buzz. These are curl flat zones. So now if this is a curl flat over here on the left and I run a corner, he'll reroute him, but he doesn't follow him necessarily. He's gonna drop to a zone. If I have a little bit of a deeper corner route right there, it should get over the top. A better example would be a crosser. So let me show you that. So like if I run a crosser, um, something like this concept right here, what you'll see is that they, see how he doesn't follow him? and that crosser is open across the middle of the field. The beauty of this um, coverage out of Mike Blitz 3 is if there's a crosser on the field, 
he'll take him and match him all the way across the formation, as you can see right there. And then you also do get match from the backside. Now, the best way to get the match from the backside is to press. Um, if you press your coverage, typically they will still go with them. So you see there, still, see, how, see how that third is guarding him across the middle? Okay. So now what we're going to do is all we really need to do is put some underneath zones on the field that make this really, really good or some cross manning against key players such as the running back. So um, what we're going to do out of Mike Blitz 3 and the beauty of the 3-3-5 defense is we have these two guys that we can do that with. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and crash my line out. I'm going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the side of the running back. We know from experience that by doing that, if the running back goes out on a route, a lot of times he'll go guard him. See that right there? See how he goes and guards him late? So I've got that ability. And then remember um, that I've got those seam flats out there that are matching really, really well on things. And I've got the outside third. So what I like to do with this is we're going to create two vert hooks underneath. And what you'll see with these two vert hooks is they're going to help with wheels. They're going to help pass things off underneath. So let's say you get a concept that looks, um, let's say you get a concept that looks like this. This is a very good route combination. Um, maybe it even, you know, something like this or maybe even a backside dig. But this right here really does a good job. I mean, it, it really does a good job. And that makes that throw very difficult. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit more, um, I guess basic, um, just a little bit more secure against the running back, then what I would do is I would go ahead and take this defender, Duggar, and I would man him up on the running back. And then I would have this guy in a vertical hook. So you got good coverage on the running back on that side. And then on the back side, I would put the guy in a three rack. So you see here, you still get two yellow zones underneath, and then you still get um, your, of course, your user. So now you get a concept like that. It makes it a little bit easier um, you know, if they're doing something like this combo right here, that running back's not really open. And then you're going to see right here that tight end post is going to get matched across the formation and put in a pretty tough situation. Okay. The beauty of this is these seam flats will match uh, all the stuff that goes vertical. So let's say they run a flood. Um, let's say they run a flood to the right and it looks something like this. This is a very possible uh, concept. You're just going to man the running back up, bluff blitz, and vert hook. And you see here the coverage is basically built. Um, and that's what's really cool about this. So now what you see is you got good coverage on the back and you got great coverage on the corner. So they can't throw those deep vertical corners, those deep vertical crossers. Um, and that's something that's really, really cool out of this little defense. So again, you know, you can use, you could do, you could, if you wanted to, you could do this. You could do two flats. And uh, you could still Mabel because those, um, oh, should you do that? Um, you know, I think it, it's better to have the yellow support because the seam flats are still going to take stuff to the flat. Like if I run a, let's say that I run a, like a mesh concept, you'll see that these drags, the seam flats aren't really going to concern themselves with the drags, which is why the yellow zones are so important. Now, one last little tip that you can do with this is you can put your linebackers, if you if you zone your linebackers, so you do that by hitting right on the D-pad and flicking the right stick up, you're gonna notice it puts them in hook curls, and then you can blitz your user, of course. So now you have something like this right here, and then you bluff blitz on the side of the running back. Now you've got three hook curls and two seam flats. Um, and so now what you should see with this is in a traditional flood type of scenario, you're gonna get something like this, and those hook curls typically will go to the flat. Um, it doesn't, for whatever reason, sometimes do it out of Mike Blitz 3. It does do it out of other formations. But this is the beauty of this of this um, defense. Because with the weak side hook curl, you're using him, basically. Um, and then you're, you've got great coverage on the back. So my favorite thing to do is vert hook, man the running back up, and then throw this guy in a three wreck on the back side just to kind of help. Uh, with some of the stuff. If you want to, one other thing real quick, one other thing you can do real quick is you can bluff blitz this guy because he's blitzing and typically he'll go guard the running back. So you could vert, um, you could put this guy over here in, um, you know, bracket someone or cross man 
um, if you wanted to. I mean, you could do whatever. And then this guy can still go in, a, in another zone or spy. Um, but the beauty of this is you've bluff blitzed over here now. And I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this right. Let me just see. But he should go to him. See, see how he kind of eh, he kind of freezes. And that might have been just a circumstance thing. Sometimes these zones can be really finicky. I'm sure that you have no idea what I'm talking about if you played Madden 22 at all. But if you bluff blitz this guy, um, I'm just telling you, you, you will, he will, eh, it looks like he is going to freeze just for whatever reason. So it is what it is. But you, if you, um, if you slide your line, I'm just trying to help you get a, a little bit more opportunity for your wing defenders. But if you, if you, if you, uh, if you slide your line to the right, then what you're going to see here is that these zones, now this D, D end is not going to get blocked. So he's oftentimes in a lot better position to be able to get out there on the running back. Okay, so that's that's kind of how this this play really works, um, or this defense really really works, and it's a really simple coverage. It really is. Um, if you want to, you can play. You can put these guys on the outside in man coverage on the outside receivers. That's not a terrible idea. Um, it really isn't because it's going to help with like any kind of underneath stuff they're going to try to do. But it also is going to mean that those seam flats will be one-on-one -on -one to the outside. Like if you get a, let me show you what I mean. So like if you get a, a smash concept, it's primarily smash. But like let's say you get two streaks and then these two guys go underneath like this. This now, the safety's one-on-one. -on -one. So if they try to throw to the left, and again, it's not super open though. So you can mess with that a little bit. Um, but this is a great way to defend spread because the the seam flats match everything and they really take away those seam throws and then the beauty of this is if you have good kind of it allows you to put more stuff more resources toward the running back so you can get better under coverage and then you know now they're in a position where if they run pretty much any standard route concept out of this it's not that open um so like if they run something like this you see here, I mean, this is a really, really decent coverage. Now, these the slants are where they're going to get you. Um, but, you know, again, we can kind of deal with some of that stuff with cross manning and, um, you know, just key things like that. So that's the seam flat stuff. So, for example, like you could, you could easily just take this guy and put him in a curl flat, man this guy up on this guy. And then you can have this guy on the running back, and then now you have one guy in the underneath the middle of the field. But if they're running a slant to him all the time, this is going to defend it fairly well. You see, you got nice inside leverage. He runs right with him, right into coverage. Okay, so again, mess with this a little bit, but this is a good two by two defense. When I say two by two, remember when they motion uh, over out a bunch, when they run. Uh, motion over out of trips and if they just come out in standard spread th this is a really fun little defense to run so i would mess around with it i think it's really simple it's really good um it, it, again because you don't have hook curls um that are kind of built into the play it does kind of break down a little bit against some of the basic crossers but there are ways around that because you can kind of craft your coverage based off tendency because you have three p three or four p players that you can move in and out of this coverage. So that's one of the things I really like about it. But anyways, that's cover three, match, or Mike Blitz three, how you can utilize it against spread and what makes it so good. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about match defense, I've got a ton of material in our Patreon membership covering that. Remember, by joining the Patreon, you get every ebook that we've released all season, any ebook that we will release while your subscription is active, and any updates to those ebooks. Um, that we've done or will do while your subscription is active. So if you want to get access to all of that, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just 10 bucks.